Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. Really, really awesome project today um, for all you Game of Thrones fans. Um, this is the one we're doing. Another themed bracelet by uh, Pavel over at Cetus 550 Check out his Instagram feed down below. Um, yeah, really, really spectacular design on this one. Absolutely love it. And overall, not too difficult to do, but a little time consuming. Once you get the uh, pattern down though, it's not too difficult. Right, really love this one. Just want to give you a quick shot of how it looks closed. Oops, bubble came apart there. So I love how there's this kind of dip in the center there. You got these two of the main like bands going down the side. It mimics the look of that, uh, you know, that throne, of course. So really, really cool. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Remember to check out all the affiliate links down below where to get all the paracord and tools I use in this video. Guys, if you like what I do, uh, also feel free to check out my Patreon. It's a great way of you know helping support this channel go on and do great things. So that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so to do this Game of Thrones paracord bracelet, uh, what we're going to do, we have our uh, six, six strand core here. Usual setup for that. If you don't know how to do this setup, remember I, that's always linked in the description down below. Got my two working cords coming out the uh, up top here and all we have to do before we start uh, weaving is to add our accent color or well, that's actually going to be the um, kind of main color on the sides here so if you've done your setup like me um, you'll have this setup up top I'm just going to detach this for a sec so on the back here where these two uh, cow stitches are I've got my uh, accent color on a fid here and I'm just going to pass it through there, right there, between these two uh, loops. We're gonna bring it all the way to the other side. Okay, so we're gonna reattach this right here. Like that. And then pull this uh, all the way through so that you have even strands on both sides. Okay, so now that we have that secondary color set up, uh, here's how we're gonna do the pattern. So I'm gonna start off with the uh, right strand going to take, uh, yeah, this first, this is not a black, it's like a dark green. I know it might be showing up as black, but we'll take the green. I'm going to put it over first three on the right, just through the middle like that. Next on this side, we're going to go same thing over and under and out the other side. Okay. So I'm just going to put these cords to the side. Okay. Now from here, Start working with the gold. You don't have to use fids for this. I'm just using fids so it's a lot more clear uh, where my paracord is going. So let's keep these guys like this. So first we're starting on the left side. We're going to go take our first gold strand and go through this second gap here and go behind. Make sure you go underneath this back, uh, this strand coming out here. Okay, so go through there. Pull all this through. Got a lot of paracord as usual because I don't want to run out. So um, see what's happening here. I'm going over top of that. You don't want to do that. Um, you want to make sure this comes out here. Sorry. Okay. Let's bring that through there like so. Okay through that second gap and just underneath there. So now from here, we're gonna take the same strand and go through this first gap and come out this way. So it's gonna be a little confusing at first, I know, but just kind of keep it like so. Okay, so this is where we want to be, like this. Put that right there. Okay, next we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna work with that other side gold strand. We're going to go through here, through this gap, and remember underneath the strand here. Okay, and bring it underneath this gold one too. Okay, 
Okay, so you want to be here again, and now same thing on this side. Remember, we're above this one, and go through here. Bring it out to the side. Okay, so that is where you should be right now. Okay, so from here, to make it a little less confusing, I'm going to pull these in a bit and just make sure these gold ones are on top of those green loops like that okay so keep it like this now working with uh, the strand on the left we're going to go through this same gap here and go underneath two green underneath that gold and through over top this loop here Okay, so pull that through. Like that. Same thing on this side. So again, go through that same gap there. Go underneath the two gold. I'm sorry, the two green. And then go underneath this gold, but over this outer loop here. Okay. So let's pull that through. Now we cinch up. So do this part carefully. You're going to pull on these greens. So you can also get your knotter's tool out. You want to get this excess through. Close that up. Or you can just use your fingers. You want to push this knot all the way up. Good tip is to push it up before you fully cinch everything. So I like to pinch on this a little bit and pull that excess out. Pinch on this side a bit. Pull that excess out. And try to keep everything nice and tight. I'm sorry if we're kind of blocking it. I have to grab hold of everything here and just pull. Okay, so that is the first knot, and now we can move on to the next one. Okay, so now we're going to repeat the same knot. Maybe go a little bit faster this time. So again, we're going to start with the uh, right strand through the middle. Bring that to the other side. Left strand over top. Bring that to the other side. Like so. And again, with this cord, starting with the gold on the left, we're going to go in through the second gap here, bring it out to the side. Like that. And then, again, right where this little gap is here, we're going to go in from the back and out same side okay let's keep that there do the same thing on this side again we're going to go in through this gap here bring it out to the side And then again through the third gap here on the outer strand, outer gap, bring that out. Okay, so while we're here, remember you want that gold kind of on top. And we'll go back to the left side. I'm going to take this strand again. I'm going to go in between that same gap underneath the two greens and over top through that loop. Bring that out. Same thing on this side. Through this same gap here. 
underneath the two green and over top that loop there. And again, we're going to cinch it up. So cinch up that green. You're going to have to kind of do everything a bit at once just to get it even. Pull on this one, pull that out. Again, you want to push everything as up as you as up high as you can. Now, there's going to be a bit of a gap here in between these knots, so you can't really help that. So just push it up as much as possible to get rid of that gap. Of course, you want to pull all this excess out. Okay, and there we go. So that is the pattern. I've tied two knots now. I'll show you a couple more in the time lapse kind of mode. But uh, yeah, we're just going to continue tying these knots uh, going down your bracelet. All right, so I've come down to the end here. Nothing too uh, special to do. Just continue tying as much as you can, and you will definitely need to have to use your fids when you get to this point because it will be a little bit more tricky getting those cords through there. So let's do this really quickly. I think I can get one more knot in. Let's see how we do. Bring that cord through and go through this little part here. Probably be easier to take this off the jig, but you know, do what you feel like. I'm just trying to show you guys as clearly as possible. And um, you can also, you don't necessarily have to go straight to the other side. You can just do all of one side first and then switch to the other side. So this one will go through here. I know you can't really see what I'm doing. It's just too, it's too difficult and uh, tight of a shot to get in there. Okay, so that's one side. And now let's do the other side. So this, um, this overall pattern, it's not too difficult once you get the hang of it. But it is, um, I found it was a little bit time consuming because uh, as you tighten for this bracelet, you kind of have to tighten um, all different parts of the knot before you move on. You can't really just pull everything shut and then move on. Okay, so that there. And then this last one. in through here and out there okay I think we got it so now I'm just gonna tighten up this last knot and also this would be a good time to use you can use your fit as your um, as your tightening tool but definitely use that knotters tool if you've got one I'll show you what I mean just definitely makes things a lot easier you can just pull up on this
I can pull up on that and pull this through. There we go. Yeah, I think that's the uh, last knot we can do. Okay, so that looks pretty good actually. So um, let's do this now. Take this off the jig. Move this away. So now, I think these can just be snipped and singed where they are. Yeah, that's a nice clean finish right there. You can see, see the uh, the knots there. They just come out the side. So snip and singe, and then we'll be done. Okay, and there we have it guys. We are done. Super clean finish on this one. Paracord has been snipped and cinched there. And this one turned out wonderfully awesome. Big shout out again to uh, Pavel over at Cetus 550. Check out his Instagram feed. Awesome picture tutorials and great photos. Excellent work. Overall, great guy. Great paracordist. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to check out those affiliate links down below on where to get Paracord and all the great stuff she's in the video. Also, if you like what I do, guys, check out my Patreon. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.